Hello and welcome. My name is Amanda Springer and I live in Barbados and originally from London and we are blessed to be um, to have Eve and Pastor Simon here with us to stay for a couple of days. Um, so you're in my studio. I'm a mixed media artist. I work with clay, I work with fabric, I combine clay and fabric, um, I paint and um, I just generally enjoy creating anything that I can, it's use, using my hands, anything that I can do with my hands, whether it's sewing, stitching, beading, the lot. So you're here in my studio, you can see some of the work that I'm doing. I'm currently preparing for three different exhibitions. Hopefully, um, this is the first stage, so we see whether you know, they, they accept all of my work or whether they'll just accept a few pieces. Um, and um, it's for artists around the Caribbean, um, for the, these three. In June, July and August, we have Crop Over Celebration. We're also hosting Carafesta, which is a big um, island-wide exhibition. Um, and loads of people from around the world are gonna be coming to Barbados. So it's gonna be a very busy time in Barbados. So I can show you some of the pieces that I do. So these are some of the pieces that I create out of um, the basis clay and then fabric. And fabric gives you, um, combined with the particular um, chemical that I use, gives you those the lovely folds and then I finish it off with gold and bronze paint. And it kind of gives that effect of um, being a bronze piece. Um, but as you can see, it's, it's a very light piece. Um, and so I've been experimenting with a lot of um, different materials and rope. So you can, you can incorporate rope, um, different types of fabric give you different types of effect. And then using clay as well, um, kind of just enhances everything. And so here's some other things that I've been experimenting with, just some clay dolls in a kind of setting. I wanted to recreate that kind of 70s, 80s feel when we were kids and that special room that you weren't allowed in as kids. Um, and it was just for guests. So this particular series is about that and the kind of not um, brightly coloured kind of wallpaper that most of us who had parents from the Caribbean would recollect or remember and these particular dolls are charting my own kind of journey from England to the Caribbean so here she has an image of cane sugar cane cane fields um, and my experience of you know living in England and then coming in to an environment where you know sugar cane the history of the Caribbean as well as you know the history of you know people being brought from slaves being brought from Africa to the Caribbean and then just that whole story that is is around that and they also have many kind of journals and it's about us tracing our ancestors and looking back at our family tree and see how far back we can go but also see how um, the things that we do maybe you know our great great grandmother or great great grandfather might have done um, I know that my grandmother, you know, had a sewing machine, my dad had a sewing machine, I've got a sewing machine, and, you know, um, there may be other members of the family that are kind of really interested in creating like me. So, coming to Barbados has been a really, has been a very different from what I expected it to be, but it's been really eye-opening in terms of, you know, how I'm growing as an artist and how, you know, my mum went to England and lived and we grew up and now I'm back in the Caribbean living and my son who's 21 is living that experience of both and he wants to now go further afield. Um, so I've been blessed and I'm so glad that Eve wants to share part of her journey with me and help me share part of my journey with those who may be able to see this video. So um, stay blessed and thank you for being in my creative space. Thank you.